Inside this tub is one of the strangest cleaning products I've ever seen. They call it a dust cleaning gel, so I'm opening it up. And here it is. Oh, look at that. It's pretty much just slime. It feels brilliant. I really like it. You can stretch it and pull it, prod it and poke it. And when you play with it in your hands, it kind of sticks ever so slightly. But it's really easy to clean it off. Just kind of wipe the slime ball back over the top. And it's designed for cleaning up dust in hard to get places. Or you could just play around with it. This computer keyboard is covered in dust all over the keys and down in between them. So apparently we just take the cleaning gel, sit it down over the top and kind of roll it back and forward. Oh, it feels so weird doing this. I was worried it was going to get stuck all down in between the keys and make a real mess. But you can see it kind of peels itself all the way back off and it gets down into all the little nooks and crannies. It seems to be picking up all the dust and debris. I gotta say I am really impressed. There's literally no dust at all left on this keyboard now. It's the sort of thing you could just keep around your desk and every now and again just roll it back and forward over the keyboard. That's really cool and it's also really handy for cleaning up things in a car. You can roll it around inside of the air vents to pick up any dust on the fins. I think the key here is to keep the slime moving and to make sure you don't let it seep down into the air vent. <laughs> that could be a disaster. I'm rubbing it over the buttons here and the screen. And look at that, it's made a real difference. There's no dust left at all. It's just so easy to use and it makes cleaning these awkward places really quick. Next we're going to take a look in this box. It's a set of different cleaning attachments which fit to an electric drill. The box lists a set of different applications, so let's try it out and see if it's any good. We've got this 5 inch diameter flat brush with these nylon bristles. This 3.5 inch comb brush, which you can use for getting into corners and things. There's a yellow one and a blue one. A slightly smaller 4 inch flat brush. And a couple of these smaller ones too. And this set also came with this wire brush wheel, which you can use for cleaning up metal. There's a 6 inch extension bar, which could be used depending what you're cleaning. So here's my drill and I'm gonna start by trying out the 5 inch flat brush. It fits into the chuck well and grips tightly and when I spin it up it feels nice and balanced. I'm gonna start off by trying to clean up some of these dirty floor tiles. There's some really ingrained dirt in these so I'm spreading over a little bit of soapy water and then I started up the brush. It does kind of spray the soapy water around a little bit but wow yeah it's made a huge difference. That's really cleaned it all up and the grout line too. I gave it a quick try out on this dirty doorstep and that's definitely looking better. There was this tough stain on this bit of vinyl flooring so I added water, gave it a quick brush and it cleaned that up within seconds. But let's try cleaning the sink with it. The draining board gets covered in these lime scale water stains. I'm swapping over to this blue cleaning brush which I'll use for kitchen stuff. I added a bit of soap and water onto the draining board and gave it a good clean brush over. I worked my way back and forwards, up and down and all the way around. And to do the actual sink bowl, I fitted on the extension piece and I'm going to use this brush attachment instead. I removed the plug chain to make sure it didn't get caught up and gave the whole thing a really good clean with a little bit of soapy water. After half a minute or so I washed everything down and it's worked really well although I did find on the draining board it hadn't removed some of the heavier lime scale build ups. So I went over these softly with a metal scratchy. But on the whole it has done a fantastic job. I'd definitely say I was impressed with this gadget. So next I'm going to try it out on this car mat. I started by just hosing it down with some water then added a little bit of soap and I'm tackling it with this flat 5 inch brush. Wow the soap really foams up. I can see it turning slightly brown in some areas where it's scrubbing away at the ingrained mud. <laughs> this is just super easy and it feels like it's giving it a really good deep clean. So I hosed it all off again and left it to dry. And look at that, it's come out like new. For this area here, which has all started to fray a little bit, I'm just going to cut off the loose stuff with some scissors. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So next I'm going to try using it to clean out this mountain bike drive train cassette. It's a little bit gunked up and it could do with a clean. I moved the chain onto the bottom and then got to it with the brush. And check that out, it actually turns it all and the pedals as the drill rotates. I'm just using a little bit of soapy water here to get off the worst, but if you wanted to, you could use a degreaser. And after half a minute or so, it's looking a lot lot better. But next I'm going to show you something really cool for cleaning up this dirty chain. I bought this bicycle cleaning kit. By the way there's links in the description if you want to buy anything you've seen in this video. And inside the case we've got this whole selection of different types of brushes. I think this one's for the wheels and tyres. Small ones for getting into nooks and crannies. These are for getting in between the gears. And there's various other cleaning implements but I want to show you what's inside here. 
So this little thing is a bike chain cleaner. You slide off the top and remove it like this, and inside we've got these various geared wheels and brushes. These are going to rotate and clean the chain from all angles. This thing seems really cool. There's even a brush in the cap, and when we put it back together, the top stays in place with this handle that slides over and locks them both together. It seems like a clever design, so let's see how well it works. So we open it up and sit it underneath the chain like this, clip the lid back on top like this so the chain's running through the middle, attach the handle which will lock it all together and give you something to grip, then pour in some chain cleaner through the holes in the top. To use it we hold the handle and start spinning the pedals backwards. This is drawing the chain through the cleaner, which is spinning all the gears and brushes inside, and giving it a really thorough wash. You can see it going in down here, and coming out the other side, slightly cleaner. I did find every now and again it snagged a little bit. I think you need to make sure you're holding it nice and straight. I rotated the pedals quite a few times, and after a minute or two, you can see it's definitely looking a lot lot cleaner. So I took off the handle, unclipped the top, and removed the unit. And take a look at that, that's such an improvement. Check out the before and after. And now it's ready for some oil. Pretty cool, huh? Next I'm going to take a look at this Sonic Scrubber. It says it's a powerful cleaning tool for kitchens and bathrooms. It claims to cut scrubbing time by 57%, eliminate cleaning fatigue, and it reaches hard to clean areas. Again, this one comes with a variety of different brushes for different applications. So let's open it up and take a look. I think this thing is basically cross between a washing up brush and an electric toothbrush. It does feel good quality, it's got this grippy rubber handle, and it oscillates the brush on the head. Mine came ready fitted with batteries, and you access them here in the end of the handle. There's four AA batteries in total. It clips together nicely and there's a waterproof seal. There's an on and off switch here, and yeah, it's pretty much like an electric toothbrush for an elephant. To change over the brush you just twist and remove it, and I'm gonna swap it for this large one. What is quite cool is the on and off switch can also be used as a press button, so you can do short pulses by just pressing down with your thumb. This one's been quite cleverly cut as a cone shape to allow you to get into corners and things, and these two brushes are quite similar, but one's got firm bristles and the other one's a lot softer. The first thing I'm going to try it on is cleaning up the mess on the hob around the burners. I squirted on a little soap, then started off cleaning with a wet brush. Well, it's foaming up quite nicely, and it does oscillate back and forth pretty quickly. I gave it a wipe down and it's made a big difference. But it hasn't cleaned it all off. If I'd let it soak with some oven cleaner, it may have cleaned it all off straight away. But I'm going to go over it again quickly, then leave the foam to soak for a few minutes. And I'm also going to do the same around this smaller one too. Then after five minutes of soaking, I went over them both again, then wiped them off, and well, yeah, I mean it really hasn't taken me any effort at all. And although they're not perfectly clean, they are a lot lot better. A really big improvement. So next I'm going to try it out on this grubby double glazed window unit. And when I go back and forward over it just with a brush, it definitely seems to be getting in there. I mean maybe I could do the same with a toothbrush, but it's probably not as fun. You can use it for things like cleaning up your shower rail. It easily gets in and around the nooks and crannies on your white goods like this dishwasher. And it gets right up under here in the hand grip too. It's really good at cleaning up tiles and discoloured grout. And you could even use it for things like cleaning up your trainers. But let's try it out on these kitchen taps, which have got a big build up of lime scale and grime. I swapped out the large head for this smaller cone shaped one, added a little bit of soap, and with a little bit of water, worked my way around the base of the tap. I'm also going along the crossbar here, and around the base of the other one. Now I think it's probably quite a hard ask for it to really remove all the lime scale, but let's see how it's done. Well it's certainly a lot better than it was before, and a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar should clean the rest of that off easily. The one thing I did notice though was using the brush across the horizontal piece here, I think I've put all of these very small scratches into the tap. You can see all the swirl marks going back and forward across the bar. And what is curious though, if I read the instructions, it does say not recommended for tinted windows, vehicle paint and stainless steel, which is a bit curious, because on the packaging it also says perfect for taps and hobs, and it shows stainless steel examples on the back. To finish off here though, I'm going to try using it to clean this grime off around the plug hole. What's really nice about this brush is you don't have to kind of scrub and scrub away at anything. It just sits there oscillating and does the work for you. And after a minute or so with a wash down, well look at that, it's made a really big difference. I'm definitely impressed. If you'd like to see some more cleaning tips and experiments, like what I used to clean this copper pan and does Coca-Cola clean metal, you can click on the link here. Or you might like to check out some of my kitchen gadgets. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.